I saw Doolittle. I like that. There won't be spoilers. You have been warned. So it starts by giving an animated summary of Dr. Doolittle's life before the events of the movie. He used to help animals all the time. And then one day the queen asked him to help the dog, I think it was, because of how popular he was. The Queen of England, I think. Not the real queen, but an actress, they say. And he does. She gives him a lot of land, a sanctuary for the animals. And he helps animals there now. Because he helps and fixes the heals the animal, she gives him a sanctuary for his animals. And he helps other animals there. But one day, he met a wife. He met a woman who he eventually married. But a while after that, she went on an adventure and died at sea. And now at the main part of the movie, you see a boy hunting with his family. I think it was either his brother or cousin or whatever it was. And I think his uncle. They ask him to shoot something. He doesn't want to, but they make him. And he misses the birds, but shoots a squirrel. His name is Stubbins, I think. Something like that. I just looked online, and it's Tommy Stubbins. So Dr. Doolittle's parrot, Polly, sees this happen, and wants the uncle or whoever he is, and the other boy leave. She takes Stubbins to Dr. Doolittle's sanctuary, where he has been hiding, locked away in there, not talking to any human since his wife died. And he doesn't want to be talked to by anyone. But another girl there is from, there from the queen, from the palace, the queen sent her. She said she has an urgent message from the queen directly. A few minutes later, after the squirrel is healed, Dr. Doolittle hears that if the queen dies, the sanctuary is gone. So he eventually agrees. Dr. Doolittle told Starbins to go home, but he doesn't want to. He was in the family of hunters. So he sneaks into the back of the carriage to go to the palace. He wants to be Dr. Doolittle's apprentice. So at the palace, he helps Dr. Doolittle, and they figure out that the queen was poisoned. It's a deadly poison with a rare cure. Dr. Doolittle and some animals go on a boat to find his wife's journal and see where the cure is. Because she was looking for it. Starbins has to go home this time, but later some animals come to him and take him to Dr. Doolittle's boat, which Dr. Doolittle doesn't want him on. And then he ends up making it on the boat, and Dr. Doolittle agrees to take him. But some royal people, a royal guy sends someone, another royal guy, after them, because he doesn't want the he doesn't want the queen to survive. He's the one that poisoned her. We find that out later. But I'm just saying it now because why not? And it's not a king. Not a king. It's just someone higher up in the government. They have to make a stop on another island first to get the journal. The island is ruled by his wife, Lily's father. Dr. Doolittle's wife, Lily's father, is the ruler of the island. And they don't really like him that much anymore. I think it's because she married him and then died. 
They captured Dr. Doolittle and put him in a cell with the tiger that he tried to hear in the past, but doesn't like him anymore. Sermon is with the leader of the island because he doesn't know anything about Dr. Doolittle as much. I mean, Stubbins isn't Dr. Doolittle and they're not mad at him. Stubbins has been trying to learn the animal languages because he wants to help. And he learned how to speak, communicate with the dragonfly that helped him earlier. And he tells the dragonfly to get to other animals in the boat to tell them about Dr. Doolittle. They help him escape. But the, but the government, I mean the bad guys from the from the royal government, or whatever they're from, blow up their ship with some animals on it. But they all make it out safely. They also stole the journal. Now after that, the leader of the island agrees to help Dr. Doolittle because he knows that Dr. Doolittle loves or loved his daughter as much as he did. By his daughter, I mean Dr. Doolittle's wife and the leader of the island's daughter. They eventually make it to the island with the help of some whales and they find the cure, which is a plant from a tree. I mean, a fruit from a tree. And there's a dragon there protecting it. They... Dr. Doolittle communicates with the dragon and sees what's wrong. The dragon is hurt and sick. Everyone else is already dead besides Dr. Doolittle, Stubborn, and the animals. So they help the dragon and she gives them the fruit, and they leave. Also, at the end of the movie, we find out that the main, or the second main bad guy, the one that was on the ship, is still in the dragon's lair, being attacked by bats. Now back to where I was earlier. They all make it back to the palace, and have to fight some guards to heal the queen, what they do. They heal her and then they all leave, including Stubbins, the animal, and Dr. Doolittle. And Dr. Doolittle hires Stubbins as his apprentice and reopens to everyone. Okay, that's the end of the movie. It's enough for what I think. I liked it. It was a cute movie. It was made by Universal and I know that the Dr. Doolittle's with Eddie Murphy were made by Fox, which I heard Fox is getting renamed because the scene doesn't want to be associated with Fox News, so I think they're calling Fox 20th Century Studios or whatever, something like that, and they're calling Fox Searchlight, Searchlight Pictures, I heard. That's some news. There were some famous people in this movie. I think you might know that if you look at the cast. And I liked it, so that's all I have to say for now. If you like this video, please like it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And follow my YouTube Instagram. Ray Rav Fried, or it's R-A-V-P-R-I-D-E on Instagram. And that's it. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Bye.